it was good. It's your boy, Mr. Rocket Seven. I'm gonna make this video while I'm looking at a couple of tweets and shit like that. Just a couple of Facebook posts and shit. You know, something for my eyes to look at. And I decided to make this post. How far right is too far right? If you are an anti-racist, you've gone too far into the right. You've somehow made yourself prove the horseshoe theory of the left-right paradigm. Because, well, now you're an anti-racist. Why? Because you're so against materialism that you've deconstructed a concept of race that way too much esotericism that's something i noticed a lot i was almost treading that direction back in 2013 with my arianism and my edenism except i was doing it to sort of go about in a universalist direction and i could have imagined myself ending up in that direction as well just like discarding race realism which I've said things that almost pointed to that slippery slope at times where I said that that like IQ gap kind of stuff that bell curve stuff is emphasized too much and for racialism there needs to be something a little more soul deep so that's kind of acceptable if you're trying to be the new agey type of right winger which I don't know why I was trying to be that but it could ultimately lead to completely discarding racialism, turning into an anti-racist because you're not a materialist and because you're past the modernity. And I was making so many posts critiquing modernity, which, come on, even a Tumblrite can do that. I gotta, like, hold myself to a higher standard. So that's one thing. The other thing is if you're an anarcho-communist, without being an anarchist. Now, there are communists who aren't, who aren't that kind of spurgy-ass, contradictory kind of communist. There are those guys, they have existed in history. I can't think of a sincere communist outside of a black professor from a university around this city, around this 50, within the vicinity of these 50 blocks, that's the only one I can think of. But for the most part, on the left you got the anarcho-communists, but when you go to the far right, I notice there are anarcho-communists, but they dropped the anarchist part and now there's pro-communism because it's not really a western concept now. It's a little more exotic. And they'll like it because it's foreign. And because the west has declined so much that they're going to like things like communism, anime, and... Islam and mix all those three things together and that's usually the typical hard leftist you might see on a public Facebook page or on YouTube but it's also something you could see on the far right end of the spectrum because again I'm starting to see the horseshoe effect now I don't mention it too much I'm obsessed with the horseshoe theory of the left right spectrum I know if I got into it a couple years back it'd be like 50 of my videos but that's kind of what I see now and a lot of it's just how you frame things but no that's legit and now I gotta ask myself why is it that People go so far to the right that become left. I'm starting to think it's... I'm starting to think motherfuckers is going undercover and polluting and poisoning the well. Also starting to think it's just the Spurglord thing. You know, 
us spur guys, we over analyze things and over rationalize things and sometimes over analysis without good evidence is is a bad thing. It can make you think completely stupid things. Like I remember some friend of mine like someone broke into her boyfriend's house and she started making all sorts of over analytical accusations as to who it might be. She's like, I'm going to assume it's a white guy because she was like completely blue pill and she kind of hated white people. I'm going to assume that they felt guilt. That's why the door was closed. It started like going OD. I'm like, yo, chill. Over analyzing without any kind of evidence. And that's what's probably happening right now. People are being overly analytical and it's mixed with people who like mystery merchants hiding about. And now we got fedoras on both sides of the spectrum. And that's a problem. Not that I know what to do about the problem, I just know that I made a lot of stupid videos in 2013, 2014 because I wanted to be open-minded in late 2012, ditch the anarchist side and I started listening to any alt-writer I could stomach and I ended up saying some smart things and a lot of stupid things. It's a sad fact of adolescent life. One step forward, five steps back. But anyways, it's been your boy, Mr. Wonka7. I got two notifications right now. Let me see. Be sure to like my new page on Facebook, my new like page. Fresh Prince is the best anime. I'm going to put a link to that right now. Watch that. I've had it for a couple of months. It was an inside joke from a friend of mine. And I figured I might as well, I might as well share it because I'll post like once every month. It's hard to find something that links Fresh Prince and some ironic weeaboo shit. Or just some ironic stuff in general. I just, last two things I shared were a couple of Dykeike slash Copro production YouTube poops. That's it. So... Peace out, guys. It's been your boy, Mr. Wonka7, back again with another vlog, classic or accident. I'm, um, I'm gonna do my thing later on. I didn't look at my dick, by the way. I'm not hinting that I'm about to beat my meat or shit. And suck my dick.